Hello and welcome to Speak Out for Sustainability, live lesson number two. Today's lesson is all about plastic and litter. So I'm going to start sharing my screen with you in just a moment. Then we can have a chat, we can introduce ourselves, and then we can get involved in the lesson. So let's get to the screen share. Do, 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 do. Well, that's confusing. Here we go. Speak out for sustainability, plastic and litter. Um, you can see there a bin absolutely full of rubbish. It's full to the top. So today there are worksheet activities. Uh, you will have found the worksheet when you registered. If you're going to chat, which would be great, in your chat box, it says that all panelists, just above where you type your message, there's a drop down box. And it's got panelists and attendees. If you change it to all panelists and attendees, that way everybody can hear what you're saying. Everybody can hear what you're saying. Everybody. Um, well, they can't hear, they can read. So if you just say to panelists, they'll all come only to this guy. But if it's to all panelists and attendees, you can share your ideas with your classmates. So we're up to 21 people in the room now. Hello, everybody. Hello, Svetlana from Russia. Nice to see you. Um, lovely to see you all here. We'll also be using a Padlet and a Menti. Now, the Menti will be coming before the Padlet. So I should have put that one first. So who am I? Hello, I'm Harry. Nice to meet you. I'm Harry and I'm from Northampton in England. Has anybody been to England? If you've been to England, say hat. If you haven't been to England, say banana. If you've been to England, say hat. If you haven't been to England, say banana. And guess what? I've just found my other camera. So I can plug it in and show you how to talk to the whole room. Give me a moment. Just got to go in behind the computer. Banana. Okay. Ooh. There we go. I've plugged in my other camera so I can show you how to speak to everybody in the room. Um, well, if you do ever go to England, if you do ever go to England, don't go to Northampton. It's absolutely awful. So I'm going to show you here on this webcam. At the moment, a lot of you are writing just to the panellists here. You see that? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll stop sharing the screen as well, so it's a lot more obvious. So here, just above your chat box, it's not very well. If you click here and go all panelists and attendees, there you go. No uh, Vati um, has done very well there. They're speaking to all panelists and attendees. So let's, let's change the camera back so you can all see oh, this beautiful face. Hi there. Me again. Harry, so guess what happened yesterday? Yesterday, I don't know if any of you have ever been in any of my classes before with Pearson and BBC Live classes. Well, I always wear this hat in my classes. You may have seen on Renewable English. But yesterday, I did something really brave and really bold. And I shaved my head for charity. I took it all off to raise money for these guys, Kids Against Plastic in their fight against plastic, because we all know that this week, this month, sorry, is all about plastics and litter. So I've got a new do, especially for those guys. You can see in the picture that I'm about to share, I didn't used to have hair like that. So I used to live in England, but now I live in a beautiful town called Valencina de la Concepcion, here in Spain, near Seville. You may have heard of Seville because in the Euros, Spain are playing all of their games here at the moment. So I like flags, as I mentioned before. Um, that's my favourite flag. I don't know if anybody knows which one it is. 
if you do know, put it in the chat box. Oh, we've got someone singing Scotland Portuguese. It is. It's the Marshall Islands. It was a difficult one, but it is my favorite flag. Now, somebody who likes flags is called a vexillologist. The vexillologist. Um, so I am a vexillologist because I love flags. I love funky shirts. Here you can see me in my funky shirt. I'm wearing a funky shirt. Anyone else like funky shirts? You can see on the, the rail there, which is actually up there, that this is the shirt number three on the rail. Uh, I wear it quite a lot, this shirt. I am a big fan. And I created Renewable English. Renewable English is a free climate change awareness course. Um, and of course, I am the learning guide for the wonderful, the amazing Speak Up for Sustainability from Pearson and BBC Studios. So please have a take a moment. Whoop, 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 whoop. Take a moment now and tell us. What's your name? Where do you come from? And what school do you go to? What's your I look like Obi-Wan Kenobi. I, I used to look like Obi-Wan Kenobi a lot more. In fact, um, oh no, I used it as a story on my Instagram. I had a picture with a, a hood up and everything. But people used to say I look like Obi-Wan Kenobi. So guy, I bet you when you look now, I don't look like Obi-Wan Kenobi anymore. Without the hat, absolutely, yeah. There's a big change there. This only happened yesterday. I cut it all off for charity yesterday. So my name is Harry. I'm from Northampton, England, and I go to Renewable English School. I also go to Speak Up for Sustainability School. So what about you? Tell me about you. What about you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where do you go? What school do you go to? Hello, my name is Carolina from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Ah, that's got a good rhyme to it there. Uh, you go to Network English School. Oh, brilliant. I love Network English School. You guys are amazing. Um, it's that I've... I've spoken to a few of your classmates in the past. Um, brilliant. So we've got Ritik from Fatenbad, India, and he goes to SNSG, SSS, Mehelwala School. We've got Sergei from Moscow, who goes to the Gazprom School. Uh, we've got uh, Najila from Johor in Malaysia. She goes to the SK Segment Burus, uh, Baru School. We've got Andre, he's also from Moscow. We've got Julaiha from Malaysia. She goes to the SK Jeremiah School. Well, so we've got people from India. We've got people from Malaysia. We've got people from Russia. We've got people from Turkey. We've got people from Argentina. Excellent. We've got people from all over. And there's uh, Najila from the SMA Al Kahida Segamat School as well. Brilliant. Lovely of you all to join us today. Today we're going to talk all about plastic and litter. And we've got Igor from the Gazprom School. So the worksheets and your chat box are what you're going to need. And remember in the chat box, let's go for only English. So today I want to learn five, five new words about plastic and litter. We're going to get some ideas about how to reduce plastic waste and most importantly, we're going to be more confident to speak out for sustainability. English is the language of protest and the language of science. So what we need when we're out there, when we're on our striking for, for climate, when we're on our school strikes on Fridays, we need to go out there and we need to use our voices. Of course, use your, your mother tongue, but also when you're striking, when you're making your signs, I've got a sign here um make them because if you make them in english you're more likely to go viral here's my sign save paper make smaller signs 
There we go. That's my protest sign. Uh, hi, Elif from Ankara, the capital of Turkey, who goes to uh, Bati Kent High School. Brilliant. Now, here's a quote. I don't know if you've been following the Speak Up for Sustainability this month, but our quote for this month is, if your bathtub was overflowing, you wouldn't immediately reach for the mop. You'd first turn off the tap. That's what we need to do with single-use plastics. Single-use plastics. Now, I'm sure you've all seen the vocabulary video. A single-use plastic is something you use once and you throw it away. So like a plastic water bottle or uh, when your food is wrapped in plastic, that's a single-use plastic. And over 40% of the plastics we use, we use once and throw them away. We're going to learn more about those soon. Now, this is from Annie Leonard, the, the head of Greenpeace. Now, what do you think she means by this? How can we stop uh, single-use plastics other than just saying, I'm not going to buy them anymore? And I'll tell you what, that's very difficult. I'm a very, very eco-conscious person, but I still have plastic in my recycling bins at the end of the week. And recycling them alone isn't quite enough because some of them, and we'll find out about this very soon, some of them, they can't even be recycled. What? Who makes a plastic that can't be recycled? It's outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. I throw my hat down in rage. And I replace it with a different hat. Because... What kind of a man would I be if I didn't have more than one hat? So this quote is from Annie Leonard. And what she's saying is, what we need to do is stop with single-use plastics. Hi there, Noor Haris from Johor as well. We've also got Yalin coming in from, uh, from Ankara in Turkey. So we need to stop by, just stop making single-use plastics altogether. Now, I'd like you to go to the Menti. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm going to pop across now. I'm going to stop sharing the screen so you can all look at my fairly confused looking face. I'm going to get the link for the Menti. And I want you to... Oh, uh, no, not that one. One moment, please. I'm going to give you the link now because for some reason I didn't get it ready in the chat box. There we go. I want you to go over to the Menti and tell me what words you think when you see though these pictures. What word do you think when you see these pictures? Let's have a look at the pictures. Do, do, do. What words do you think? So get onto the Menti. I've put the link in the chat box. I've put the link in the chat box so you can of course Use your QR code on the screen. Just there, grab your phone, get a close up. What do you think when you see these pictures? You think, oh, there's Harry wearing the same hat again. And in a moment, I'll jump over to the mentee and we can see what you think when you hear those, when you see those pictures. What words come to your mind when you see those pictures? Jump over to the mentee. Type them in there, get go crazy. I don't see anything in the mentee. Let's go guys. Can you see the link in the chat box? Let's make sure it's in there. There you go, jump over there and write, which words do you think when you see these pictures? I'll give you a few more moments so we can, uh, so far only two people, three people have participated. Very good. Let's have a look here. Excellent, All right, we're getting, now we're getting busy. Now we're getting busy. I'm gonna resume the share now so we can have a look at these other ones. I'm gonna take a quick screenshot. There we go.
Beautiful. Um, so we've got recycling. Let's make awareness good. Raising awareness is very important. Recycle, reducing, reusing, waste, brave. Lots of recycling there. Very good. Um, want to join hands? Oh, I really like that one. That was a great one. Uh, good. Reusing, recycle, pollution. Man, um, we need to say no to Polly. Yes, we do. Absolutely, we do. I can see we've got a lot of very well-educated people here. Nice light. Good, brave, reusing, reducing. What about refusing there, saying no? Good there, recycling and good. We've got some good ones coming in now. Uh, environment, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And you can see me there when my beard was a little bit longer and I also had a bit more on top. Really good. I think, yeah, morally, you do have to be a mor morally aware to do that raising awareness. Um, has anybody here ever been on a litter pick or, or done some cleaning in their local area? Anybody here? Feel free to say it in the chat box. That chat box, Aruni. Does anyone here do litter picks? I do them every day. On my way to school with my daughter, I always do a litter pick. I always do a litter pick every day to try and clean my route to school. Um, I also walk to school because there's no need to drive. It's only 20 minutes away. There's a nice walk in the morning. Um, so let's get back to this and we can see there there is a man. I was, I was, they were, they were in the Colinas de Camas. So I live in Spain and Colina is a hill. So we were in the hills of Camas, which is a village near me. Um, and you can see just how much litter we collected. Ah, there is a school which takes uh, polythene as fees. That's very cool. Oh, hi there. Hi there, Ritik. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure to have you here, sir. Um, a live lessons legend in the house today. Brilliant to have you here. Um, one of my live lessons heroes, absolutely brilliant. Um, so good to have you. So yeah, um, plastic and litter picks. For me, like these litter picks, I mean, doing them, I think it's very important to clean them up, to clean up, but it is kind of, dealing with the symptom you know going there and dealing with that is we shouldn't have to because people shouldn't be throwing their rubbish on the floor but if we take the first step and don't buy the plastics in the first place I mean I imagine you guys are not the real problem here there are much bigger issues but yeah litter picking is a great way to make an impact visually you can really see the difference you've made so get together with your friends grab a glove and give the planet some love. So moving on from here, we're gonna look at different types of plastic. Different types of plastic. We can see there all of these different water bottles. I'll tell you an unfun fact about water bottles. Anyone who's seen Renewable English will know that I have unfun Frank present my unfun facts, but I'll give this one to you anyway. An unfun fact about a water bottle is it uses three times as much water to make the bottle than there is inside the bottle. Seriously, guys, come on. There is one good thing about these bottles. They're easily recyclable. Another good thing about them is we don't need them. We can just get a reusable bottle ourselves. And then we don't need to get plastic bottles. Um, so yes, yeah, say no to plastic water bottles. Absolutely. Um, a big no-no for plastic water bottles. Um, okay, did, did you get kicked out of the airlift? Don't worry, it's okay. We're, we've moved on to, um, to plastics and we're going to look now at 
all the different types of plastic. So there are seven different types of plastic with a varying level of impact on the planet. While recycling isn't the answer to our plastic uh, problem, just remember recycling is the last, last, last option. Um, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. There's also refuse, there's also rethink. You can also upcycle. There are so many things we can do before recycling because this is a horrible fact. Recycling, uh, they've only recycled 9%, only 9% of the plastics that we use, that we have used uh, on, on Earth. They've only recycled 9% of them. So there, there are little numbers on the plastics that we have. Here's a very quick guide. The ones on this side here, hang on, I'm gonna put myself in the middle. So oh, let me make myself a bit smaller. So, ah, ah, I'm spoiling the whole lesson there. So when it comes back with a recording. So these ones here, number one, number three, and number five, are generally quite easy to recycle. These ones, number three, number four, and number six, are generally very difficult to recycle. Um, so when you're looking at the numbers on the sides of your different bottles and so on and so forth, beware. Okay, so let's have a look at these different, um, this, these different options here. Let's have a quick look. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. So what do you think about those? Um, I'm going to pop back in a minute. minute, 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 minute. Oh, lost what I was saying there. I'll pop back to the mentee in a while so we can all have a look at that. Um, but in the meantime, you've raised your hand there, Resat. How can I help you? How can I help you, Resat? You have raised your hand. I'm always here to help. Because that is my job. So how can I be of assistance? If you've got a question, you can check it in the box there. Okay. So polyethylene tetraphylate. Ah, no worries. There's no need to apologize. Um, also known as PET. It's a lot easier to remember than that, I have to assure you. Um, this is really good in general at um, being recycled. So these are your soft drinks, your water bottles, your ketchup, your mouthwash bottles, those different things. Generally, pretty good at recycling. Again, when they're recycled, it's not usually circular. It's usually they go from being a bottle to being clothes or from a bottle to being a carpet or something like that. So yes, they're being recycled and they're being used again, but is that the right answer? No, the right answer is probably don't buy them in the first place or their mouthwash. I'm not sure where else you'll get that from. The next one is uh, high density polyethylene or HDPE. This again is good for recycling, but not plastic bags. Although a lot of plastic bags are made from recycled plastic, they're not generally good at you being recycled. So what's the answer to that? When you go to the supermarket, take your own bag. Take your own bag. If you do have one of these plastic bags, I use mine if I go on a litter pick because I do still have some from the past, but I must say it's been about maybe 18 months since I got a plastic bag. About 18 months since I got a plastic bag from a supermarket. I always take lots of bags. Something that really irritates me, actually, he says with his plastic pen. Um, something that really irritates me. Um, good, you can replace it in a ceramic bottle. Very good option. It really irritates me when I go to a supermarket and they always say, would you like a bag? Well, don't ask me if I want a bag. Leave it to the customer to ask for the bag. That way there's that kind of moment of thought because we all know 
supermarkets are now making a huge amount of money on their plastic bags. So let's go with our nice canvas bags. So number two, also good at recycling, it are milk jugs, juice bottles, and bleach and stuff like that. They are also very good at recycling. There are some places you can go and refill your bottles as well. Refill is always better than recycle. PVC, polyvinyl chloride, PVC, polyvinyl chloride is rubbish at being recycled. It is terrible. Um, your garden hose, for example, the hose in the garden, the thing that you can water things, can't recycle it. You can upcycle it, but it's very difficult to recycle. Um, shampoo bot um, bottles, cooking oil bottles, they tend to be very, very, very bad at being recycled. You can also get PVC clothing, you know, the, the really tight things that look like tight leather trousers and stuff like that. That's all PVC. Not great. Not great to recycle. In fact, it's less than not great. It's absolutely terrible. So number three, can't really recycle it. And LDPE, which is low density polyethylene, is also not great at being recycled. Now, there are some places. Let me just add. Recycling depends a lot on where you are. Where I am, number four can't be recycled but you have to ask your local recycling authority can i recycle number one can i recycle number two nor do you have a question let me know if you've got a question chuck it in the chat box chuck it in the chat box so um squeezy bottles you know when you go to a, a restaurant or something like that they're something that are very difficult to recycle but very easy to upcycle you can turn them into rockets and stuff like that. I love upcycling. And as I mentioned before, I love, oh, can't reach. Whenever I go to the supermarket, I take a tote bag, a bag that you can reuse again and again and again. I have a rucksack absolutely filled with them. Oop, there we go. And it's back on the door handle. So there we go, three and four are not good at recycling. Um, so with uh, polypropylene, it, they are very good at being recycled. Uh, so your yogurt containers, I know it's difficult to find yogurt in other places. Um, so usually they come in yogurt pots. They're very easy to recycle, but please, 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 please. Wash them first. <laughs> wash them first. If you don't wash them, they can. Some places will still accept them. They can ruin a whole batch of recycling, which then goes to landfill. Now, if you watch the, the video, landfill is a place where they just put lots of rubbish to get rid of it. And I know that um, the UK, where I'm originally from, has been sending its landfill off to underdeveloped countries for many, many, many years. Um, it's one of the very large number of reasons I'm not particularly proud of my heritage. Um, medicine bottles, very good for recycling, and straws. Now, there is a huge campaign about don't use plastic straws, say no to the straw, um, buy metal straws, buy bamboo straws. Uh, cotton buds can't be recycled unless you take the, the cotton off the end of them. Um, they tend to get lost as well, and they often look like lollipop sticks. Uh, there are lots of different options for cotton buds, though. There are now lots of paper cotton buds, which, uh, which can be recycled. Now, straws. Everyone has a huge obsession with straws. Now, only... 0.3 of a percent of the plastic in the ocean is straws. So yes, avoid plastic straws. If there are paper straws, great. Or, now here's a novel idea. Do you need a straw to drink with or can you just... 
drink straight out of the cup. I think drinking straight out of the cup is a better option because when you think about making getting a plastic straw, the amount of water used to produce a metal straw is an awful lot. So I think bamboo straws, edible straws, or of everything, no straw at all. Um, metal straws also use an awful lot of resources. But number five is good for recycling. Number six, polystyrene is the worst. It's terrible. You can see a picture there of polystyrene, those little bits that get everywhere, all over the place. I know lots of fishing materials made from it. Um, trays that you get meat in. I don't eat meat, so it's not an issue there. Disposable plates, takeaway containers, and cups. Disposable cups that you get from various drinking outlets they have them as well. Why not get a reusable cup? A keepy cup, I think we call them nowadays. Um, there are so many different options. So try and avoid them. And I'm sure if you've bought anything online recently, I know I have, uh, I try and keep it at a minimum, but it's always packed with loads and loads of polystyrene and plastic. No, say no. And cling film that you wrap around your food can't be recycled either. And number seven, oh, there's a Q&A there. Teacher, of course you can ask something. Um, Bernur, of course you can ask something. Help yourself, let me know. It's the same here in Spain. Plastic bags are reduced for, uh, sold uh, here in, in Spain. I think an easy step to make would be don't sell them at all. Just tell people you can't have a plastic bag can't have them. You have to bring your own because that way the supermarket doesn't make any more money out of it. And we, you know, we remember eventually to take our own things. I recently saw a man buy six bottles of water and ask for a plastic bag to carry them out with. I'll tell you what, it was not a regular happy Harry face that day. In fact, I gave him one of my bags and told him there's no need to use so much plastic. The last one, of course, is number seven. Now, number seven, we don't really know. There can be all sorts of things. This is probably made out of number seven, sunglasses, um, DVDs. Usually they can't be recycled because we don't know exactly what they're made of. They're often a mixture of different plastics. I'm looking around my room to look for some number sevens. This is made from number seven. Um, the case that I had my thing to shave my head with was number seven. Um, number seven's everywhere. What's your question there? Can we buy wheelchairs for disabled people by collecting pet? Oh, wow. That is brilliant. But no one has asked me a question. Now I'm going to speak about this here. Um, absolutely amazing idea. Um, the, the caps, the, the bottle caps that you often collect in many countries, in Turkey, they use them to buy wheelchair for people who are unable to walk um, and, or have a disability in some uh, respect. That is fantastic. I know that in America, in the States, there's a, a young lady called Sammy. She has the Sammy Smiles project. I absolutely love it. And what she does with the bottle caps is she collects them and makes park benches with them, like memorial benches for, for people who have, have passed on or have have had some problems. So I think that's fantastic. Now, before we watch this amazing video, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm going to ask you to tell me in the chat box, when I say a number, I want you to tell me if it's good or bad for recycling. Very easy, good or bad. So it can be, for example, I say number one, number one, you can just say one, good, okay? Good or bad? Very simple. So let's start with an easy one. I've already told you the answer to this one. Number one. Is it good or bad? Very good, Ritik. It is good. Look at that. It's in like a flash. The superstar is in there like an absolute flash. Number one is good. Very good. One is good. Good for recycling. Also easy to avoid. Excellent, Sergei. Very good, Najila. Wonderful job. Okay, are we ready? Which number is he going to come up with now? 
chromatic drum roll there. How about number three? Is number three good or bad? Number three, is it good? Is it bad? Number three, 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 is it good? Is it bad? Hmm. So number one is good. What about number three? Not great. Very good. Or bad is also very good. Bad, um, bad, bad, bad. Number three is bad. We cannot recycle number three. Excellent. Very excellent work there. Um, okay. Number, 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 number. Ooh, number five. What about number five? Look at that, so guys, in there like an absolute flash. Boom, five is good. Five is good. Five, five is good. Five is good. Five, five is good. Good. Five is good. Five, five is good. Good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Five is a good one. Switching hat again. This one's a lot cooler. It's very hot here. Hope the weather where you are isn't too hot. It's about thirty-five degrees here in Seville, Spain. Okay, how about, drum roll please, the crowd were nervous, number two, number two, so that guy thinks bad, hmm, do we agree with Sir Guy, ooh, lots of people saying bad, there you go, Ritik there, comes in with good, very good, number two, number two, number two is good, number two is good, Number two is very, very good. Um, okay, number two done. Now we've got three to go. How about number seven? Terrible. Very good. Well done. It is terrible. Absolutely terrible because we don't know what's in it. How can we recycle something if we don't know what's in it? We can't, I tell you, we absolutely can't. Okay, next one. Number four, num, number four, four, number four, num, number four, four, number four, num, number four, four. You guys have got it, you guys are on it. Number four is not a good one. It is not a good one. Okay. And finally, number six. There you go. It's not a good one either. Now I'm going to share the screen again because it's time to talk about plastic pebbles. Plastic pebbles, Harry. Just you wait till you see this video. It's going to blow your mind. It's an amazing artist coming up. So, task A, if your birthday is from January, February, March, April, January, February, March, April, can you do task A? It's on your worksheet and here are your questions. So if your birthday is in January, February, March, April, then these are your questions. Where was the video shot? How does the preventer test preventer presenter test to see it isn't a pebble? Um, what does she say? Where does she say the plastics were made? When rather? Anyway, you can read because apparently I can't today. If you don't have the worksheet at the ready, take a quick snapshot in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now, if your birthday is May, June, July, August, May, June, July, August. May, June, July, August. Can you fill in the blanks? Can you fill in the blanks? Can you fill in the blanks with the words that you hear? Okay. So if it's May, June, July, August, this is your task. If you need to take a photo, five, four, three, two, one, one, one. And the last one, listen carefully. Wofford, four words related to the theme plastics and litter, plastics and litter, litter. Okay. So we are going to watch the video. Let's watch the video, everybody. Ooh. Hello, here we go. I expand that. I'm also going to put myself on mute and stop my video so as not to confuse you. 
Nobody wants to see this beard for this long. Here we go. Bit of plastic. It's easy to find plastic washed up on beaches, but not all of it is obvious. Now, this is interesting. This is um, this is actually plastic. It looks no like way. a rock. Uh, yeah, it's plastic. Artist Rob Arnold has been collecting so-called plastic pebbles from beaches in Cornwall to use in sculptures, and he's not short of material. Well, they might look like pebbles, but they float, so clearly they're not. What I want to know is what they are and where they come from. Tests on the pebbles we found showed the plastic had been burned and contained toxic chemicals such as lead and cadmium. It suggests they come from plastics manufactured in the 1980s or earlier. This is a, an unusual piece of pyroplastic. It has, it's been colonised by tube worms. By colonising the plastic, the tube worm is, is potentially able to accumulate any chemicals that are in the plastic, and therefore those chemicals will enter the food chain. There are a number of theories about where it's coming from, including people burning waste and dumping it. Another is that it's down to coastal erosion of landfill sites. A study from Queen Mary, the University of London, highlights 1,264 in England that are at risk of flooding and coastal erosion. The defences will fail and you'll potentially have um, former landfill either eroding out onto the foreshore or leaching into the water. Alongside that, there's a potential impact on human health, depending on what's in the sites that we're, we're talking about. There's currently a government review into flooding and coastal erosion policy, looking at, amongst other things, what to do with old landfill sites. And while the plastic continues to wash up, Rob is still out beach cleaning. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to make a, um, a piece of artwork. It's, it's going to be a, a, like a rock monster. Hello, and we're back. Uh, so let's see what answers we got. I'm going to get back, get back to the PowerPoint. Here we go. So let's check it out. So where was the video shot? Where was the video shot? Check your answers in the chat box. I did indeed. Very good. It was shot in Cornwall. Fantastic. It was shot in Cornwall, where the recent G7 summit was, uh, where the British Prime Minister, uh, Boris Johnson, makes me want to vomit when I say that name, um, flew there 270 miles and he flew there. Absolutely outrageous. Um, if you hear my dog in the background, my apologies. She's obviously seen somebody outside. So how does the presenter test to see that it isn't a pebble? How does she test to see that it isn't a pebble? Look at that. She puts it in water. Very good job, sir guy. Very good. Where does she say the plastic is made or that where they were made? This helps me think. When, not where. Why do I keep saying when? Where? When? One day I'll learn how to read. Very good. The 1980s. Excellent. Riddick, you're on fire today. Uh, what are the two theories proposed on how it ended up in the ocean? Now, this is a bit trickier. Hmm. This one's a lot trickier. Very good, Lily. It was the 80s. Well done. What do we think? I'm going to put you guys out of your misery because it was a tough one, this one. Oh, very good landfill. So, but it says it, good landfill erosion, yeah, coastal erosion, very good, and burning. Oh, there's a big, it's a massive mosquito in here. It's enormous. Now, I'm very good, I, I like all animals in the world. I absolutely love them. But mosquitoes and wasps, I can't, I can't, I can't. They hurt me too much. And the last one, 
Uh, what is Rob going to make with the plastic pebbles? What's Rob going to make with the plastic pebbles? Artwork, very good. So he's going to make a rock monster. Uh, Rob Arnold, check out his uh, Instagram. It's absolutely fantastic. And while I'm talking about Instagram, you should also check out Pearson English Learning. And of course, there you go. Um, now, task two, for those of us whose birthdays are April, May, June, no, May, June, July, August. It's easy to find plastic on the beaches. Candela, Argentina, absolute. Well, the two down here, where do they come from? There are two in there already. I've already given you the answers. That's outrageous. No. Harry, what did you do? You got your animations wrong. I've given you the answer to two of them. Look at that. It's absolutely terrible. Schoolboy error from the teacher. He throws his hat down in disgust. Urgh. He has an angry red head. So, terrible, terrible. He uses pieces of plastic in his... Let's see if Candela can get there quickly again. Very good in his uh, ooh, artwork, sculptures. Artwork's fine, the exact word was sculptures. Uh, he's got a really good one of the, the heads of Easter Island. Um, so next, tests on plastic showed they contained mm, chemicals like lead. Hmm. Well, one of them was cadmium, very good. There is, it's more a description of what the chemicals are like. I'll tell you what, it's very strange getting used to not having hair. It's only been a day. Toxic, very good. Whoop. Very good. And there were wormholes in them, very good. Uh, and then, of course, there are a number of theories about where it comes from. And, of course, landfills are a site, uh, risk of flooding and coastal erosion. And then some of the words, here are the ones I came up with. Um, I don't know if, did you find any others? Did you find any of these? Were any of these the ones that you heard when you were listening out? Landfill, good. Float, excellent. Oh, pyroplastic. I didn't even put that in there, did I? Uh, oh, I did, I did, I did. Dump, good. Coastal erosion, good. Excellent. Um, got some good ears in the house today. Really good work. Now, if you look at this very old picture of me, I say very old, it was about two weeks ago. I went to my old school, which is Teo San Pablo in Sevilla. Um, and I asked some of the students for their, top, for their top tips on reducing plastic waste. Now I'm gonna buzz across to the Instagram page and we're gonna check those tips out now. Oh, I need to get rid of that. Instagram, here you can see the wonderful Instagram page. Look at all this wonderful materials. There's my interview with Amy Meek from Kids Against Plastic, my interview with Crystal Ambrose, um, all of the materials you could possibly need, especially for the next unit, which is coming up. And here we have the video of the top tips. Let's make sure the sound's on. It isn't. Seo San Pablo in Sevilla to ask some of my students, my old students, for their top tips on reducing plastic waste. Use a reusable mask. Buy your fruits in your local greengrocer. Avoid using single-use plastic whenever it's possible. Don't buy plastic. Use a refillable bottle. 
Why not go on a little picnic? Use reusable bag. So you've heard what my students had to say. What about you? Have you got any tips? Why not share them using the hashtag below? Ta-da! So there you go. There were the top tips from, from my old students. Uh, I was wondering, do you have any top tips? What are your top tips for reducing plastic? What are your top tips for reducing plastic? Check them there in the, the chat box. And then in sh very shortly, I'm gonna show you the, the video challenge that we have as well. Because I would love to see some of your videos up there on Instagram. Because if you share them, we'll obviously reshare them as well. Eco-friendly bags, absolutely. I remember there was a use stainless steel cutlery. Yes, um, I recently did a a lesson on renewable English, which was all about parties. And it was all about making sure when you have your celebration or your party, you don't waste. Uh, there you go, use a paper straw. Uh, you don't waste things. You don't use unnecessary uh, plastic in your parties. And one of them was, was, of course, cutlery. So feel free, of course, on here, also on Instagram, and on Facebook, you can share all of these different things. And now I'm just going to come very shortly to the end. Oh. Oh, yes. I absolutely love that, Ritik. Uh, making the plastic bottle bricks. Uh, I think that's an absolutely brilliant idea. Um, choose metal over plastic rays as well. You can see no. I don't really use many razors, although I do use the on my head. Um, I don't dare go all the way down there. Um, the plastic bottle brick, I've seen some wonderful things um, about plastic bottle bricks that, you know, some houses that have been built with them. Uh, brilliant. You're taking on that project at your school. That is amazing, Ritik. I would love to, I want to hear more about this. That would be incredible. And if, if at some point I could arrange to speak to your students, I would absolutely love to do that. That would be great. I'd love to get them on a Zoom meeting. I'd love to speak to you and your students. That would be fantastic. That would be a dream for me. I'm gonna go back to the PowerPoint very quickly. Um, hopefully we've learned some new words today. Um, very good. Do a campaign with your friends. Absolutely, Noor. Very good. And we've, hopefully we've got some ideas on how we can reduce plastic. Um, and hopefully, most importantly, we're more confident to speak out for sustainability. But now there is a video challenge. Now, it's a nice, easy one. It's all about doing a litter pick with your friends. So I'm going to show you... I've got a few different reels that I can show you. I'll go and I'll show you the, first I'll show you the Pearson reel, and then I've got another one I'll show you afterwards. Um, let's jump on in here. We can have a look at this. So please do join in with this. Go on a litter pick and share. I do make some of my own too. So we'll have a look at one or two of those. But it's, it's so easy to make a reel. It's so, so easy to make a reel. Super easy. <laughs> Here's one of the evolution of my hair, but we don't need to see that one. Um, let's have a look at this one. On the way to school, I always do a little bit with my daughter.
something I do all the time, all the time. I've got plenty more here. I've got this one I did the other day as well. It takes no time to make. So as you can see, there are plenty, plenty of opportunities to go on a litter pick. I've got three other videos in here as well, to be honest, which I could show you. But I'm not going to bore you with endless reels of me doing litter picks. I do them every day, but it's something that's super easy to do. And it would be brilliant. I would absolutely love it if you would do it and give us a tag, Pearson English Learning. Then we can reshare it in our stories. I would also gladly do it. On Renewable English, I'll share it in the stories. And of course, whenever you're speaking out for sustainability, use the hashtag. Now that is about all we've got time for today. I would like to know what's been your biggest takeaway from today's lesson. Don't forget, we've got one next month on the, I'm just checking on my calendar, on the 23rd of July, all about reduce, reuse, recycle, but it's not just the plastic reduce, reuse, recycle, it's another aspect of it as well. So what did you, what did you most enjoy about today? Um, and did you learn something new? Please say yes. <laughs> yes, Andre, I'm glad you learned something new. Good, so I learned something new. Excellent. Always a delight to hear. Fantastic. Um, remember, do stay in touch with uh, Speak Up for Sustainability. Keep an eye on it. We've got classes all through the holidays. Um, and if you need to look back at previous ones, they're also available. Also check out Renewable English. There's plenty on there to keep you interested through the holidays. I'm sure a lot of you are going on holidays at the moment and you're thinking it's time to relax. There's always a bit of time to jump in and to speak up for sustainability. So I'm gonna say a big thank you to you. I wanna say a big thank you to these wonderful people here at Pearson for, for letting these happen. Um, keep an eye out in the, the group, the live classes group, and don't stop following uh, and don't stop speaking out. And let's keep the planet as clean as possible and let's do what we can. Thank you so much, everybody.